welcome back everybody to our farm here in Oak Belleron. So, since the last episode we've gone forward a little bit, a day and a half maybe, but our silage bells are ready. They are fermented, all of them. I've checked them. So we will go and sell them. In terms of the prices, well, I'm not really worried what they're at. They're going to get sold anyway. And we'll take them to the livestock market. Obviously, we are probably not in the best price zone, but we're not going to wait until December because that is just miles away. That is ridiculous. So we won't worry about that. So we'll sell them, but first of all, we are going to do a little bit of swapping around, tidying up in here. Nothing major. I'm going to move the header, the harvester, out here. I'm wondering if it will fit. I think it will fit in there with that if I shift that over. But before even that, because we purchased the electric tractor, Obviously, we do need to put down a electric charging point, and I'm thinking about it, and I think we're going to add to the electric fleet because it's going to more, be more beneficial, and it's it, you know it's going to be worth putting down the electric charging point if we've got more vehicles to use that. It's going to be more cost effective and also we're going to get rid of one of our items and replace it with an electric vehicle because again that is going to save us money on fuel and we are going to get rid of and I know some of you and me be like oh no and I'm a little bit like that because I love this thing I think it's the best telehandler in the game, in my opinion. I know we haven't used it a lot. But I think if we get rid of that and replace it with something else that's electric, it's going to be more cost effective for us. Because this isn't going to get used a lot. It's just going to be for lifting and shifting pallets at the yard. And obviously it was an awesome deal at the time. Did get it second hand so I don't know how much we're going to get for it hopefully it's going to be a decent amount we're going to take it up to the shop sad to see it go but needs must and we need to move onwards and upwards it's all about progressing the farm and we're going to be a little bit greener, aren't we? We're going to be helping the environment. There's our friend, look. Never waves. I don't know whether they like me or not. I've not sussed it out yet. I will do. I'm determined to get to the bottom of that. Very strange. Anyway, let's head up here. And I will show you what we are going to be buying. I had three options um, for the replacement and I did have to think long and hard about it so let's just park that there um, what was I going to show you I was going to show you something I can't think what I was going to show you mine's gone blank right let's sell that we're going to sell that and we are going to sell the forks as well because um, that's not too bad actually 31,880 right let's get rid of that we're going to sell the pallet forks as well because we are not getting a telehandler this was the dilemma I had so 33,590 we've got back for that so let's go into the shop oh that, that's what i was going to do let's check the bargain basement first oh no i don't really like that i'm not a big fan of articulating 
tractors and front loaders and wheel loaders. Well, that's a nice tractor though. That has actually just come out today <laughs> in the mod hub. I've literally just finished doing my mod review and uploaded it. And this was one of the mods for today. I really like that. It's a small tractor though. We, we, we can't have another tractor. Not at the minute. We're not big enough. Right, in the shop. Let's go. So, what my di dilemma was is I thought straight away, I know there's a electric telehandler, which is here. I thought we could do like for like. We could keep the pallet forks. There's three things that put me off this. One is the price, which I know is not horrendous, 99000 because the JCB brand new is 108. Obviously, we had ours second hand. Second thing that put me off is it only does nine miles per hour. Our JCB done 24 miles per hour. Now, again, I know it's only going to be for potting around the yard. Like I said, we're not going to be going on trips up to the farmer's market selling eggs again like we did with the JCB. That was a one-off. And secondly... It says down the bottom there, the horsepower, 34 to 69. Well, when you click on there, it's on 34 horsepower. There's nothing on here that changes that to 69. So I think that's an error somewhere on Giant's part, um, which isn't very surprising. But <laughs> all we can change is the wheel setup, which obviously is not going to change the horsepower. So that put me off that. Then I thought about, I'm sorry if I'm boring you with this, but I'm just trying to show you my methods of madness. Then I remembered about this modded forklift, which is basically a mod of this one here, the EFG S50. This one's got a higher reach on it, and those forks do extend, so you can pick up like three pallets in one go. But again, I got put off by a couple of things on this. Only does 10 miles per hour again. I know we're only going to be around the yard. And also, I've seen a couple of people having some issues with this. Going near pallets, touching them, and this thing just flipping out and, you know, shooting across the map. So I don't really want that happening. I know it would be quite exciting. And then, I remembered these guys, which came out as a pack. We had a diesel one, an electric one, and a methane one. Now the electric one, I know it's 70,000, but it does 24 miles per hour still. It is only 50 horsepower and it is not articulated. And what else I like about this is it's got a boom on the arm. So it will boom out or telly out like a telly handler. And I've put this and the, in a little experiment test off camera, obviously. I put this and that electric telly handler together. If you line them, line them up roughly where the arms are kind of like where they boom out, this booms out the same as the telehandler. So we're going to get ourselves one of these guys. And we are going to, well, let's have a look at the wheel brands first. Trelleborg. Oh, I quite like them. This raises that up a bit, doesn't it? Continental, Michelin, they're bigger tyres. Midas BKT Nokia's right, it's either a Michelin or Continental. I like those Michelins, so we're going to go for that. The main color we can change up. I'm going to go orange, and we're going to change the plate to our usual FS Snowy. So let's buy that, 70,000. So we've paid a little bit towards it. Now, obviously, now we need a front loader pallet forks. So front loader tools, and we want the pallet forks. Just these guys. So let's buy them. Get another 1,700. There we go. So we are a little bit less than what we started off. Also, this does have a pin hitch if we wanted to do anything like that. 
That's pretty smart. Got that nice ticking sound again. <laughs> if we go inside, silence. Nice horn, we've got a beacon. Wow, look at that beacon. That is a proper beacon. We've got lights going on. Cool, indicators, lovely. We'll keep that beacon on actually because we're going back to the farm. Right, and it's all wheel steering. Well, I'm happy with that. Let's just show you that as well, look. So, look at that. Forks can go in and out as well. So there you go. Let's take this back. Tell you what, that's quite nippy as well. Oh, that's bad for camera angle. I think electric is the way forward. <laughs> I'm loving these electric motors. I do like to try and use new things, different things, mods that I like the look of when they come out. And obviously where I am doing mod reviews at the minute, although it does take up a lot of time, which is why there could be delays in some of these episodes coming out here and there so apologies for that but that's the only reason why it's not because I've got slack it's because they are coming out thick and fast right so let's put this away in its new home for a minute we can turn that off now we will obviously put down a charging station as well we might do that this episode as well actually so oh I tell you what that is tight isn't it I think we might have just knocked our beacon off well to be fair this doesn't have to live in here because we're gonna shift a few things around in that shed and I do really want to have you know all of our machinery in the shed so let's do a little bit of shifting there might not be a lot of farming in this episode so apologies for that look at little and large here look look at that right seeing as you are there and this is there we'll grab this and also got that mulcher in there haven't we um, I don't know if the mulcher and the roller are gonna sit side by side because if you are careful when you plan things you can put two items in these bays could be a little bit tight we'll see what happens right over in that corner so something like that I think that should fit in there shouldn't it I hope so then we need to go and sell our silage bales before the price plummets loads of room there guys just don't want to get caught on any of the upright poles right I don't <laughs> I was gonna say should we try and take our little electric one up on the right where are we actually going I think right if we, if we go out this way and up there and we'll go to the animal livestock dealer do you think our little tractor let's have a try i just want to i know it sounds horrible but push this little thing to its limits just to see what it's capable of because i just think this little thing's a beast all the wheels are spinning a bit aren't they yeah let's not punish the poor little thing 
go on, you can go away for a little bit. And we'll get our normal tractor. Don't really want to be taking the new Holland up there. Alright, so let's shut that one up. And we'll open that one. Whoa, there's a tyre there. This is looking a little bit dirty, this tractor. We ought to wash that. I think what we'll do, I'm just going to have a quick check what sort of eggs we've got. But I think what we'll do is load up the eggs and the lettuce all in one go and sell them. So, yeah. We're not going to be waiting always for the best price. If it's only a, a month or two away, then yeah, maybe, but not when we're in March and December's the best price. That's just ridiculous. No way, Jose. Right. So, are we good to go? I believe we are. Um, there is still, well, quite a few contracts available. There's some big sewing ones. I think this field to our left, which we've done a, quite a bit of work in before, that is still there as a sewing contract for cotton. That was quite a good um, paying out job. And there's another field, I think it's that sort of L-shaped one, just behind the field in front of us. That is a sewing contract, which is a good price as well. When we stop, I'll show you. Um, I'm on the wrong side of the road here. We are not in the UK, are we? <laughs> oh dear. I have a nightmare this episode, I think. Right, so let's go left here. nice to go to different areas of the map I do like this map as well I think it's a lot more picturesque than Elm Creek I've not really played on Elm Creek a lot to be honest with you I've kind of using it as my test map I did a lot of my tutorials on there but I've not played on it at all I don't really get a lot of time to be playing it like as a, as a personal save game. Doing my YouTube videos does take up quite a lot of time. So I don't tend to get going. Right. try and remember how this works in terms of unloading um, do we do no it's that isn't it is it that is it that no that turns off the engine <laughs> Oh, I didn't really want that to happen. Oh my goodness, what is happening? I thought, oh, there we go. We'll get it right in a minute. Right. Oh, come on, what? There we go. I hate not having this side panel um, not working on here because I could just tap and put my help menu on but I can't now. Right, what did we just get for that because I have no idea now. 32,525 so not too bad just off a bit of grass. Is our grass field growing again? 
no which is a little not a little bit of a worry i was hoping to get another cut off of that and then oh well we have got a little bit of time we could probably go for something like soybeans or even sorghum corn is there although corn we're going to need another header so yeah we could go sorghum soybeans obviously the chickens will take sorghum as well but we do have our barley field which hopefully should be ready fairly soon right let's head back to the farm right we're back at the farm what i think we're going to try and do is we'll try out the new front loader so i'm going to park this there what we need to do is grab the toolbox and reconfigure that trailer back as a standard trailer so let's not auto load because then we'll get the tension strap option we'll drop that there and go for this so yeah we're on auto load at the minute let's turn that off customize thank you very much we'll put our trusted toolbox back love this mod back in the garage Maybe our little tractor could live in here. <laughs> right, let's try this fella out. So if we just load up what we've got lettuce wise. And maybe the eggs as well. Right, let's shift those in a bit. how good I am at I haven't done a lot of pallet um, yeah there you can go you can see why pallet loading in FS22 yet of course when the game first come out you could lift these crates of lettuce and strawberries and that up by hand but now you can't which is a little bit annoying we shouldn't even need to boom outlet so that's got a good reach on it that I think we're just gonna get could we get three on there maybe come on off thank you let's grab the next one bum 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 broke some glass then I think
Right. This is the last of the eggs. I've left a little bit of a gap there between the lettuce and the eggs just in case we get any more because obviously we're not going to sell them yet. So I'm going to test out the old front loader, the new pieces of equipment. I'm just going to try and straight that, straighten rather, that pallet back up so that hopefully it will carry on spawning the eggs. I think the chickens were too happy with me moving them, they were getting a bit flustered. Right, so somewhere about there, I think. Like so. So there you go, pretty impressed with the front loader. I'm pleased with that purchase. Let's, oh, please don't tell me I've gone <laughs> either side of the straps. How awesome. What an idiot. We're going to have to shift those over now. Brilliant. Right, well, can I get back in there? And, oh, it's just going to be easier to just do this, isn't it? I had a funny feeling that was going to happen, actually. I thought, I bet I miss a strap somewhere along the line. Right, so that's that one. Where was the next one? So that one's going to be... Ooh, that's only just on there. So it needs shifting over a little bit more. Oh, that's the trailer. Go about there, I think. Right, and then the other one needs shifting over. Yeah, I did notice this when we got the, tra uh, the trailer that the straps aren't sort of equal going across the bed. I ended up having to pay for a rather large paint bill in a minute, keep banging it like that. Right. Let's get that over there. I'll tell you what, let's not mess around. Let's just put all three in the same spot like we did with the lettuce. And then we know we've got a strap over all of them. It's just getting a bit tedious, especially for you guys. Right. Oh, not too much. That's the forks doing that. Come on. We're almost done, I promise. <laughs> Just not happy with how I've left that. Doesn't have to swing round quick, this, um, I was going to call it a telehandler, then it's not, is it? do I'm not doing any more to that I think that is kind of on there I guess we'll soon find out when we start driving down the road right well I think we will leave it there for that episode so apologies there wasn't much farming going on but it was all bits and bobs that need doing on the farm in everyday life I think we'll try and squeeze this in there and that leaves our garage free then 
This can be our little electric zone just in here. That can live there. Very pleased with that purchase. Let us know your thoughts. Always interested to know your thoughts. I'm going to put the tractor and trailer away. Um, what I probably will do actually, I've just remembered, um, is off camera I am probably going to take on, wow look at that one as well. That's not a very wide cedar though but that is quite a good price. I was going to do these two, so the 19,000 and the 17,000. They're both down the bottom half, our half of the map. I was going to do them off of camera. I'll probably lease this equipment because it's cheaper than that. That planter is ever so slightly narrower than this blue one. But the tractors are both pretty good. So I think I'll do those and... I'll do little clips of them and I'll show you um, the money that we get for them as well. I'll record all that so you'll see it at the start of the next episode. It's just we have done quite a few contracts on here. And I don't want to be keep doing contracts all the time showing you that. I know it's a bit of farming and you guys love it all and of course you do. That is why you watch it. But I think we'll leave it there for that episode. So I hope you have all enjoyed it. Our little electric pur purchases oh i'll tell you what we will do just to finish off the episode let's put down our electric charger i think that is under tools there it is electric charging station now where could we put that we could put it there couldn't we um we could put it there we could put it in here. Um, 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 um. Because we can drive in through there, it's not a problem. I'll tell you what, let's put it here. And then I'll probably have to change the landscaping on that. <laughs> right, let's turn off the um, thingy. What do you call it? so we can get close up to there so we can still get to that door not that we ever use that door and we'll go bang like that let's go and have a quick look at that so that's another five grand awesome so we now have our electric charger there's the plug by the look of it excellent well pleased with all that so there you go we'll end it there guys so so i hope you have all enjoyed it if you have please give us a like and if you haven't subscribed yet then please consider doing so really appreciate it and don't forget to smash that bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine i've been farm sim snowy stay frosty